Well, if you'll all excuse me, now that Edward has had his breakfast and his coffee, I'm going up to see him. See you this evening. Then I guess work calls. Just a moment, please. I have to get to the hospital, Alan. So do I. So do I. But you're both going to listen to what I have to say before you leave the room. I am not interested in talking to you, Alan. Then just listen. Ned. Yes? The day you got roaring drunk, I saw you kissing Monica down at the gatehouse. Now, the only reason I didn't do something about it is because you were so drunk, I knew it, judging from the size of the hangover you had the next morning. Now, is there any chance whatsoever that you're going to deny this? I, I really can't remember it. I, I do remember Aunt Monica coming out to the gatehouse to help me out, sober me up with a little it, coffee. It was a kiss of gratitude, Gratitude. Al gratitude, my foot. Well, I want you to get something straight, Ned, and you too, Monica. I'm putting you both on notice. If you ever, and I mean ever, go near my wife again, there will be a very, very serious reaction from me. Do I make myself clear? Have a nice day. I'm terribly sorry to hear that your father's not on his feet yet. So am I. I adore him. He has an excellent business mind. <laughs> I know. As long as he has his financial papers and a direct line to a stockbroker, he's happy. <laughs> he was very supportive when I divorced Ashton. You know what puzzles me? No. That you never remarried after Lord Ashton. No. I did. It was a big mistake. Mm. Since then, I've been very careful about men. I imagine many are in hot pursuit. <laughs> well, let's just say I'm very particular. I also don't enjoy flirting. <laughs> There's also a question of time. I'm devoted to my son. Well, what I have seen of him, he seems like a very lovely young man. Handsome, too. That he is. I understand that Lord Ashton is deep into this quest business. You know about that? Ah, yes. I knew Larry's father when he was hell-bent on finding this lost civilization or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It all started with his father. Yeah, it was the old man's passion. A passion that has almost ruined the family fortunes. Ah, things like that can do it. I can't sleep at night uh, thinking about the monies my father and brother have invested in Ashton's dream. But I hear Lord Ashton has been making great progress these days. I hear that, too. If he doesn't do something foolish foolish in what way well i'm not so sure about some of the people he's hired to go on the cruise ashton doesn't have very good judgment about people for example <laughs> i don't want to bore you with things that don't interest you even though you did offer to help me help you in what way well i know you have uh, a lot of connections my father went on a great deal about you if I can help you in any way, just tell me, Tracy. You don't mind? Of course not. Well, there is one person that I'm particularly concerned about. And what is his name? Charlie Prince. Ah, yes. The gentleman you spoke about the other evening, Charles Prince. Apparently, Ashton and Mr. Prince fence regularly. Mm-hmm. That could be why Ashton's asked him to go on the cruise, so he has someone to fence with. Well, then, I'll make every effort to find out who this man is. How can I ever repay you? Well, let's see. For starters, by joining me for dinner again. I'd be delighted. As a matter of fact, a lot of my old friends in Port Charles have left. I find myself very lonely. Well, then, let's see if I can help you with your loneliness, too. What a lovely man you are. Thank you.